Welcome back to our channel. It's Tessie and Quincy from Q's Hairdies. Today we want to show you a requested style that I've done before, but I'm going to update it so that it can be a little more clear in what we're doing. Um, I'm a little more efficient at editing now, so it should be a little easier to follow. And before we get started, forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Also follow us over on Instagram at Tess Wood and on Facebook at Q's Hairdos. And oh, I forgot to say what it's called. It's a crisscross double pull through braid, and it's easier than it sounds. So let's get started. Start with the crown section parted as a deep side part all the way at the back of the crown and about an inch above the ear. Secure the rest into a side ponytail. Now split the crown section in half lengthwise and clip one side out of the way. Add spray gel as needed and I will link this one below. Section off five ponies that are about an inch long and secure each one in, a, in, an, an, elas in an elastic as you go. Repeat on the other section. Now that you have all 10 ponies sectioned off in two straight lines, we will begin the pull through braid. Take the first ponytail and split it in half. Move the second ponytail through. Take the left half of the pony and clip it to the third pony in the second row. Clip the right half of the pony to the third pony on the first row. Now repeat this on the opposite side. Take the first ponytail and split it in half. Take the right half of the pony and clip it to the third pony in the first row. Move the second pony through and clip the left half of the pony to the third ponytail second row. Now secure the ponies together with an elastic as you remove the clip. Now you will take the ponies that you moved out of the way, or the second pony as we called it. Now we will call it the first pony. Repeat the same process two more times. Take the first pony, split it, and move the second pony through, clip it out of the way if needed. Now secure the right side with a clip to the third pony in the first row, and clip the left half to the third pony in the second row. Same on the other side. Take the first pony, split it in half, move the second pony through, clip it out of the way, take the right half and clip it to the right third pony in the first row and take the left half and clip it to the third pony in the second row. 
Now secure these sections with an elastic. And now you will repeat this process for the final time. Treating these as the first pony again, split it in half. Move the second pony through and clip out of the way. Take the right half and clip it to the third pony first row and take the left half and secure it to the third pony second row. Same on the opposite side, take the first pony, split it in half, move the second pony through, clip the right half to the third pony in the first row and the left half to the third pony in the second row. Now secure each of these with an elastic. Take those ponies that you moved out of the way and split them in half. Now move the pony up through and clip it out of the way to secure that pony to itself. And you'll do this one time on the left side as well. Split the top pony in half. Move the bottom pony up through and secure it to itself. Now you will go through and pancake only the outsides of each pull through braid. If desired, you can continue the pull through braid until it reaches the side ponytail as I did here. Continue by splitting the pony in half and clipping the bottom up out of the way, then secure it to itself with an elastic. Again, split it in half, move the bottom pony up through, secure it to itself. and pancake for the desired effect. Clip that one to the main ponytail and then I did the same on the right side. I did three sections here. And I'm speeding this up for the sake of the time of this video, so it's not too long. Now, if desired, you can also add a pull-through braid to the main ponytail. Split the ponytail in half, then split the top half in half again. Pull the bottom half through and secure to itself underneath. Now split the ponytail in half and secure to itself underneath and pancake for the desired effect and continue this all the way down.
To finish, I secured with an elastic over all of the hair in the same place as the last pull through elastic was put. We hope that you liked it and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!